The 2017 Hyundai Elantra is the best car for you if you're ready for surprising refinement where you'd least expect to find it. This compact sedan has been fully redesigned with toned down styling but a tuned up driving experience. The cabin is comfortable, fuel economy good, and prices start under $18,000. Of course, this loaded version of the top line limited model stickers for almost 28 grand, so it's not exactly a walk behind the velvet rope on a shoestring budget. But Hyundai's on to something here. I'm Chuck Giametta. Join me for a car preview video review of the 2017 Hyundai Elantra. One of this South Korean automaker's oldest nameplates, Elantra debuted for 1992 and began a dull march through multiple redesigns until Hyundai shook things up with a startling 2011 model. Curvaceous and expensive looking, it generated showroom traffic and influenced competitors. This all new sixth generation is a little less radical. Dimensions hardly change, they're nearly identical to those of rivals like the Toyota Corolla and Honda Civic. The real story is beneath the skin. Hyundai rebuilt the structure, transforming how the car feels. The chassis is lighter yet significantly stiffer, fortified with high strength steel and bonded with enough aerospace grade adhesive to draw a bead longer than a football field. It's packed with sound deadening material, and the result is a very quiet small sedan that keeps its composure even on rough roads. All three Elantra models benefit from this solid engineering and also from a new generation of Hyundai engines. SE and upscale limited versions share a four-cylinder with a little more power and slightly better fuel economy than the one it replaces, but it's more responsive and runs much smoother, contributing to Elantra's newfound sense of tranquility. 70% of buyers will choose the SE, and while it comes with a manual transmission, most will option it with the automatic that's standard with the limited. Acceleration is more than adequate for everyday driving. Get aggressive though, and you'll discover this powertrain's limits. Like the car, it's built for comfort, not for speed. The third model is the aptly named Eco. With a tiny turbocharged four-cylinder and dual-clutch automatic transmission, its EP EPA ratings match those of similar fuel economy specials in the Civic and Ford Focus lines. It'll account for just 5% of Elantra sales, but should reflect what we experienced with the SE and Limited. Ride and handling are a revelation. Bumps are absorbed without pounding or wayward body motions, and while road manners are not Volkswagen Golf or Mazda 3 sporty, the Elantra is tossable and just feels confident. That behavior is all the more remarkable because Elantra doesn't have an independent rear suspension. Rivals like the Civic, Mazda 3, Focus, and VW's Golf and Jetta do, but Hyundai saved expense and weight by sticking with a less sophisticated torsion beam rear axle. It did a great job making it work with this nicely sorted new chassis, though. Impressive as well is this upgraded cabin. The design is contemporary and the overall effect is calming. Generously sized controls are clearly marked and like the gear shift move with a precision that helps this Hyundai feel more expensive than it is. Standard on the Eco and part of the $800 SE popular equipment package is a 7 inch infotainment screen and a rear view camera. Cruise control, heated mirrors, Bluetooth connectivity, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are also included. Also standard on the Eco, but a $1,300 option on SEs with the popular equipment package is the Tech Package. This adds blind spot detection with rear cross traffic alert, heated front seats, dual zone automatic climate control, keyless entry with push button start, and LED daytime running lights. The Limited has all that, replaces cloth upholstery with leather, and is the only Elantra available with onboard navigation. It uses an 8-inch screen and is part of the $2,500 tech package, which also brings a power moonroof and heated back seats. 
Like the front seats, Elantra's rear bench is comfortable and among the roomier in the class. There's lots of interior storage space, and all models get split-folding seat backs. Cargo volume is average, but if you own a Limited or Tech Package SE, you needn't remove the key fob from your purse or pocket to release the trunk lid. It pops when you approach, after a short wait, but because it isn't a power lid, you'll have to finish the job yourself. There's a lot of safety technology, too, as long as you spring for the Limited and then add $4,400 for the Tech and Ultimate packages. Only Limiteds with the Tech package option are eligible for the $1,900 Ultimate package and its safety features. They'll automatically stop the car to prevent a frontal collision, automatically steer it back if you wander from your lane, and automatically maintain a set cruise control distance from traffic ahead. You also get steering linked to Xenon headlights and memory for the driver's seat and mirrors. All Limiteds have extra chrome trim and 17-inch alloy wheels instead of 15s or 16s. With the Ultimate package, our test Limited stickered for almost $28,000. That makes it among the more expensive models in the competitive set. Of course, a fully loaded SE lists for around 21. That's very reasonable, if you can live without the automatic braking and such, and without four-wheel disc brakes. Only Limiteds have those, for now. Coming in fall 2016 is the turbocharged Elantra Sport. It'll look a lot like this and have a handling-tuned all-independent suspension and other performance upgrades. It'll also reflect some of the flavor of the Forte, Elantra's sportier cousin from Kia, Hyundai's corporate partner. Sales of cars in all classes are down as buyers flock to SUVs. Maybe one way to win back the dwindling number of people who haven't caught crossover fever is to pamper them at reasonable prices. Elantra does that. We just wish its laudable safety features weren't reserved for the privileged few who can afford a loaded limited. For more on this and other cars, trucks, and SUVs, go to carpreview.com and please subscribe to our Car Preview YouTube channel.